everybody. Happy Monday. So I'm done with my exercise for the day and I'm done with my yoga. So I have been back into exercising regularly, which for me is a couple of times a week. Um, kind of varies. For, I, did, I average four times a week. Um, so I've been back into that for about a month now because I just go on and off with exercise. So I was off for a while, but now I'm back on and I'm doing okay with it so far. So today I just did a pop sugar video. It was a half an hour um, full body strength training video and I was using my little hand weights for that. So that went okay. And then I decided to do about half an hour of yoga, which I do just a couple of times a week. Um, I'm not just into it enough to be able to stick to it to do my yoga every single day. So a couple times a week is it. That's all I seem to be able to manage to find the motivation to do. But I do um, some yoga with Adrian because I really like her and her YouTube channel and how she just does the yoga stuff. It's very like flexible for whatever you need it to be. So that's what I've been doing. So now that I'm all worked out and whatever, uh, I'm going to go take a shower so we can continue on with the day. So I'm all clean now and dressed and I took my sweet time. I had something to eat too. And the kitty cat's here. I don't know if I can get her to say hi or be on camera, but I'll try. So we're gonna, well, I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I have a couple of errands actually. Um, I'm going to the grocery store. I'm going to a produce store. And I'm also gonna stop at Hallmark because they just this past weekend had the release of some new ornaments, including some Harry Potter ornaments. And I didn't bother like reserving them or whatever or ordering them or going. So I'm gonna go today and see if they have any of the Harry Potter ornaments left because I really wanna get them. Um, usually there's a couple new Hallmark Harry Potter ornaments every year. Uh, and I, for the past several years, I've been getting the, those couple of ornaments. Um, yeah, so I wanna try and do that. And if my Hallmark store doesn't have them, then maybe I should just order them online. I'll kinda, I'll think about it. Well, if you were that close to the camera, it's really hard to see you. <laughs> yes, okay, yay. That's wonderful, thank you. Thank you. Silly cutie. Silly girl. She followed me downstairs. She was laying in bed resting, which is how she spends most of her time. But she followed me down. I don't have anything for you. Yeah, don't lick me. You got sunscreen on. Silly. Silly kitty. And she, I think she likes my jingly charm bracelet. So I've got my Pandora charm bracelet on. Hold on, maybe I can set the camera down so I can show you. Okay, hopefully that works. So anyway, I've got my Pandora charm bracelet. And I got a couple of new charms. So I think I've shown these before. Okay, so these are my old ones. I've got... Um, the letter A, I've got two kitties, because we have two kitties. I've got this pretty heart. And then I've got the bell dress, Princess Bell dress. And I've got these Minnie Mouse ears, like a headband. And I've got a Christmas kitty. And this, um, another bell charm. I, it's really hard to see, but there's roses on it and there's like a like a rose kind of cut out on the inside too it's easier to see in the light and then I just got Figaro for my birthday and we were out at Pandora the other day and my husband got me Mrs. Potts and little Chip he's on there too and then I also needed um a clip so this is the first clip that I I got and it's a heart with little pink stones I wanted to get one of those I guess it's a safety chain that would connect like here and here and then it's got a chain so that if you if this pops off for any reason like there's less of a chance that it'll just fly right off your wrist and that you'll lose it but only one type of safety chain really works for this bracelet apparently and I did not like it so I didn't get it so that kind of stunk but I decided instead to get a clip because I wanted something to help in case this falls off my wrist unexpectedly. So this way at least the charms are, they'll stop here and they won't just fly off the end of my charm bracelet should this accidentally come off. Okay, I've got everything, I've got my purse. Well, this is my purse, I've got my grocery list. Dun, 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 just a couple of things. 
Got my phone, got my sunglasses. Okay, and this is the bag I've been using as a purse lately. Um, so it's actually a backpack. I'm really, really into backpack purses sometimes, and this is one of those times because they're so much easier than just having something on one shoulder. Um, so this is a Disney Lounge Fly purse, well, backpack, and it's uh, Aristocats print, which is very, very cute. I like it. I found this at a store called Box Lunch. And I also have a charm, kind of like zipper pull on here. It's a little tangly. But this I got in my most recent Harry Potter um, Wizarding World Loot Crate box. So it's the Gryffindor pennant. And then there's a little snitch here too. So I've been using that on this backpack as a zipper pull and it works perfectly. There's a Starbucks in our grocery store. And now that I just did my quick grocery shopping, I decided to try this wacky tie-dye Frappuccino. It is really cool looking. I'll give them that. It's very cool looking. And the girl said it's kind of banana-y or tropical-y. And um, I'm a little nervous about it, um, but I'm going to try it. Okay, I'm looking like a mess, but that's fine. Um, so I don't typically love a lot of like banana flavored type stuff. So I'm not sure, but let's see. I see what she means. It's got a banana something going on. I wonder what they put in here and how did they get it to be all those pretty colors? I mean, it's really cool. It's really cool looking. And I love all the colorful sprinkles, sprinkles on top. Um, yeah, it's like a fruity, but mainly light banana. It's not like a crazy banana. So it's, it's doable. I think I could drink this, yeah. I mean, it's definitely one of those fraps where there's like, there's no coffee in here. It's just all like a cream frappuccino. Is that what they call those? The coffee free ones. So, um, you know, this isn't bad. If you want something with coffee, obviously don't get this. But otherwise, if you're open to trying something a little bit different, a little bit fruity for summer, I'd say this is worth trying once. Yeah. Look how cute these ornaments are. Oh, are there a lot of items? So I'm gonna get Ron and Harry today and Hermione doesn't come out till October. Oh my gosh, the tree topper is huge. I don't know what to do about that one. It's 120 bucks, it's so expensive. Look at these cute ones. Oh my gosh, I like that frosty one. Oh, okay, everything's unloaded. I just got back from the grocery store and the produce store. So I wanted to show you what I got at the produce store. Um, because, you know, I used to do all of my grocery shopping just at the regular grocery store, which around here is Jewel. That's where I shop. Um, but then since we've lived in this house for a couple years, I realized that really close by to us, there's a produce, like just a produce store. And I'd never shopped at like just a produce store before. So... I started shopping at this place and I like it. And sometimes the prices are the same as at the grocery store and sometimes they're a lot better. So I don't mind even if I'm paying exactly what I do at the grocery store, I don't mind paying it to like a, like a local mom and pop type place. So yeah, just throwing that out there. So um, I wanna show you what I got because I got a couple of deals that I thought were really good. And maybe, you know, once you kind of see some of the deals that are possible at a produce store, you also might be interested in finding one near you because I think they're worth it. So I got um, green peppers and yellow peppers. I don't think those are anything special price-wise. I also got these this little bag of potatoes. These are always super expensive. Anytime you buy potatoes in a little tiny bag like that, they're just crazy expensive. But they were, it was the same price at the grocery store, so whatever. Um, then I got some baskets. So I'm trying to remember... They don't let you take the basket home, but if you buy a basket of whatever, then it's always like on a really good deal. So I got a basket of zucchini for, I think, wait a minute. I got a basket for $1 and a basket for $2. Let me see if I had any, and a basket for two. Okay, so from what I can remember, best I can, um, the zucchini basket, all, the, all of these zucchinis were $2. I also got a banana basket, so both of these bunches were $1, and I got a basket of black plums, which was $2. So, I mean, I think that's, like, great. I, I think those prices are great, $1 and $2 for, like, 
all this stuff. So five bucks and I got all these zucchinis, all these bananas and all these plums. I love that way better than I could find at the grocery store. Um, then I also got broccoli and apples. Apples were the same prices at the grocery store. No, it cost me $2 for a thing of broccoli. So I don't know if that was really a great price. Um, these purple grapes or red grapes were 89 cents a pound. So not bad. This big thing of cherries. Um, I love these kind of like Bing cherries. These were $2.49 a pound, which, I mean, if you buy cherries on even a semi-regular basis, you know that they can be extremely expensive. They can even be like five and $6 a pound. So I thought $2.49 $2 was reasonable. And I got two things of blueberries. I thought those were pretty good too. Um, let me look on my receipt though. Uh, yes, these ended up being two for a dollar, which is awesome. And then I got some pears, which were the same price at the grocery store. And the strawberries were $2 for this clamshell. I have seen better deals on those. And then this bag of carrots was a buck. And I think that's also comparable to what you can find on sale at the grocery store. So yeah, that's just my preference. I just like to shop at that produce store because I know it's a local place. And I know that chances are I'm going to find a really good deal on something when I go in there, even if it wasn't something necessarily on my grocery list, it's produce, so you can't really go wrong buying it and eating it. So yeah, I picked out obviously a nice selection of stuff. And now that I have all these bananas, <laughs> I was gonna freeze some. So I think I'll still do that, but now I'm super tempted to like make banana bread or something because I have all these ripe bananas that I don't have to wait for. I can just bake with them right away. So I'm gonna think about that for later today. Okay, I also wanna show you real quick, just a little, well, more closely of the boxes, but um, the ornaments that I got at Hallmark. So here is Harry, and they have prices on these. I think they were each like 30, yeah, 30 bucks, which I like, obviously I'm obsessed with Harry Potter, and I really like getting these Christmas ornaments every year. But it is not lost on me, the fact that $30 is a lot of money for each Christmas ornament for one, and then I buy a couple of them. That's, a, I think it's very expensive. Um, here's Ron. And then I think I mentioned when I tried to take that little video in the store um, that Hermione does not come out till October. Lame, so I could not get her today. I also got the Weasley's Wizard Wheezes shop. And how much was that guy? 26. How come this is less than these guys? Is it because they do, they're storytellers, they do some kind of special interaction or something? So I do plan to get Hermione in a couple months. So in the meantime, I picked up this keepsake power cord because they showed me in the store that you can connect up to seven ornaments on this cord. So you can like connect these two to the cord and Hermione and then more that come out next year, the gal said. And then it all works with that big tree topper, which I did not buy. Um, so that's just kind of cool, like if they do like an interaction thing. And normally this cord is $12, but today it was on sale for two bucks. So that's why I just bit the bullet and bought it today. So um, yeah, all my little, well, all. There's, there's three exciting things in a cord, but it's exciting to me. I like picking up the new Harry Potter stuff, at least some of it every year. Although, truth be told, I'm not, okay, I am excited about the tree topper. I saw it in the store, it's huge, it's wonderful, and it, it's a musical or whatever, and it interacts with the ornaments and everything, but it's $120 for a Christmas tree topper. Like, that's crazy to me, that's crazy. I'm pretty sure I spent like 10 bucks on some glittery star that we have that was like half off on sale at Target last year, or a couple years ago, and I'm like perfectly fine with that. I just, I can't justify $120 for a Christmas tree topper when I'm already spending all this money on the ornaments. Oh, I think it's crazy. I think it's a little out of line if you ask me. Like, surely they can come up with something Harry Potter-ish for Hallmark for the top of your tree that's less expensive and fancy. Like, I don't need all that jazz. So as of right now, for $120, bucks, i am not buying it. But if it goes on sale, and if anybody knows if it goes on sale significantly over the coming months before Christmas, I would love to know and keep my eyes peeled for that because like if it was like half off, maybe I'd think about it. But even like 75, or no, even if it was like 25% off, I still wouldn't buy that thing. It's gotta be like half off or more because that's just too expensive. Like I just, I can't, I can't. So um, fingers crossed that Christmas tree topper will go on sale because I'd like to have it one day but not for full price. 
So this is what I do when I buy so many bananas all at one time. I uh, peel them and then I wrap them up individually in plastic wrap and then I put them in a freezer Ziploc and I pop this whole bag in the freezer. So uh, I use these for smoothies and I also use them for healthy milkshakes. Um, now that it's summer, I'm doing less on the like milkshake kind of front, which I think I've, sh I, I know I've shared that little like super easy recipe that I use to make like a healthyish milkshake type thing. Um, I've been doing less of those lately and more smoothies. So um, it really helps to have these ready and frozen. And I have also tried freezing these outside of the plastic wrap because I don't like using so much plastic that I'm just gonna throw away. Um, obviously, I, I mean, I reuse this Ziploc freezer bag all the time. So like, there's no need to really change this. Um, so I get a lot of use out of one Ziploc. But it's the saran wrap on the inside. As of now, I'm not like reusing it. So I just throw it away. So I've tried to freeze them without the saran wrap and it's a terrible, clumpy, gross mess. They don't hold up nearly so well. So. I'd like an alternative. I don't know what to do. What can I use besides saran wrap to wrap them individually? If anybody has any ideas on what would protect them so they don't go get like as brown and icky as fast in the freezer because they absolutely do turn brown in the freezer. Um, if anybody has any good suggestions, please let me know. I'd appreciate it. Where's my kitty? There's my guy. <laughs> yeah, you've been meowing at me for a minute and I'm not sure what it's about. We've got the dishwasher loaded. You've got food. Yeah, we got everything put away. What's the problem, bub? Something's going on. But you have food. Little bear, you've got food in your dish. Oh my. Yes, you're a handsome bear. You're my handsome bear. Oh, I bet you're reminding me that I have to do the litter boxes today, huh? That must be it. Okay, I'll go do the litter boxes. Thank you for telling me. Okay, my banana bread is, well, the batter is ready. This weighs a ton, and I have more left in the bowl, too. I'm not sure what to do with that. But I'm gonna bake this. It says for an hour and 10 minutes. So I'll start somewhere around that time. And the little guy and I, there he is, right on the couch. He blends in with things, so I like to point him out sometimes. We're watching Bob's Burgers. Aren't we punchy? Yeah, we are. We're gonna have banana bread for dessert tonight. Yay. Please disregard my disgusting oven. It is in desperate need of a clean. Okay, so I will set my timer for, for, we'll, I know it's gonna need longer than 45, but I wanna check it at 45. Okay, I also have to move the laundry that I put in earlier from the washer to the dryer. Good times, good times. I should probably throw in another load too because I have sheets. And yeah, I think that's, I think that's it at the moment. Okay, done. And now we'll get the sheets and with my goofy, goofy hair, oh well. Oh, but first I have to stop and say hi to this little princess. She spends most of her day laying in bed. And she lays on my side. This is my side of the bed. So this is her thing. She just relaxes most of the day up here. It's warmer upstairs than it is downstairs. So I don't know if it's because if she likes to be up here because it's warmer or what the situation is. She won't tell me. You're a silly little thing, aren't you? Yes. Oh my goodness. Big stretches. Yeah. I love you. Mama's tiny princess. And all her whiskers pretty much are white now because she's a little older. I like to think of you as my baby, but according to actual facts, <laughs> you're an older kitty. I just hate to admit it. You're going to be my baby no matter what. Yeah, that's for sure. No matter what. Okay, how's that? Yeah, that's a little bit better here in the bathroom. Okay, so I really like this new nail polish. 
Um, this is a new one from Essie, and it's called Happy Medium. And I think it's very pretty. Um, it's it's very sheer. I don't know how easy that is to tell, but I like you can like see the line, you know, like of my nail underneath. It's very sheer, and this is with two coats. But it's held up pretty well for the past couple of days, and I uh, I just really like. I thought it was very pretty, and from what I could tell from the Ulta catalog and at the store, this was um, a new one. So we just got that, and I like it. I've already used it, so it's a pretty one. So one of the games that I play on my iPad is um, Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Does anybody else play this game? I know that the what is it Wizards Unite Unite United whatever is really popular now. It's like the new Pokemon Go. But I can't play that game because I have nowhere to get lives close to me that is even walkable. So I like I can't play. I'm not going to get in my car and drive 10 minutes to go get lives to play some game. So that really ticked me off. But anyway, so I've been playing for a while on and off this Hogwarts mystery game. And it's, I mean, you just like wait for energy and then tap to do little tasks and complete things, which I know is kind of lame, but at least the energy replenishes and recharges all on its own. So you don't have to drive or walk anywhere. You and, and honestly, like I'm not that opposed to walking. It's just, I can't walk like four miles, you know, or whatever to get, I, f I forget. I had tried to check and see where my nearest whatever was to get energy for Wizards United. And um, there was, it was like a couple miles away. Anywho, this game at least lets the energy recharge after a while of waiting. And then you can finish your little tasks and things. And I was just doing flying class. Let's see, for my reward, I would like 10 courage points. That's my little avatar. And now I have to do this weaving thing. And you just trace. So there's nothing on here, honestly, that's hard. It's just, you know, tapping and swiping type stuff. Nothing's difficult. But it's cool because you get to make your own little person. And this is, from what I can tell, like pre-Harry Potter. Like pre-Harry being at Hogwarts. So Dumbledore is there. Professor McGonagall is there. Filch and Mrs. Norris. Wait, are Filch and Mrs. Norris there or am I just nuts? I think I'm just nuts. I think I just wanted them to be there. I don't know. But um, you meet Bill Weasley. You've got some best, like a couple of best friends at the school that aren't like Harry Potter characters. Oh, good. There goes my courage. Finally up to 20. And instead of Draco, there's this girl. At least for me, the your like nemesis for me is a girl named Marula. Um, let's see, who else is there? They're in the middle of an event. Oh, Professor Flitwick is there. Um, Madam Hooch. So Hagrid's here. Thing. So anywho, um, it's pretty cool because you get to, there's different places you get to explore and do tasks at. Um, a lot of them are locked, you know, until later on. I am in my second year and I've gotten up to level 17. Don't know if that's good or bad. And then you try and earn, like, attribute points. And you also try and adopt different magical creatures that you can feed and bond with. Stuff like that. So, but the whole, at the moment, at least up to this point for me, the whole gist is that I had a brother who went missing. And there are some cursed vaults around the school that are, there's like a vault that's full of ice. And it's this big mystery. Nobody can penetrate this cursed vault. So, yeah, and there's me feeding my fairy. And leveling up your magical creatures takes forever and forever and forever. It, oh my gosh, it takes so long, but I'm getting there slowly but surely. So, yeah, I don't know. If you have tried this game, um, if you like it or if you don't like it, let me know what you think about this. Because so far, it's been fine for me. It's, it's an alternative to Candy Crush, so... Um, so far, so good, I think. He's just resting up here on the couch. He looks really big from this angle. Yeah. So everything for dinner is rolling. And I'm, well, if things are on the stove, I'm just kind of sitting and reading. And this is my copy of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. It's got this cool cover on it. With this picture of them riding the dragon out of Gringotts. 
So I am this far along. I'm going to make it. Not today. I'm not going to finish, but in the next couple of days, I'll be done with this book and I'll move on to something else. Which, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love reading Harry Potter. But sometimes by the sixth or seventh book, I'm like, okay, let's just, let's just finish. Let's just finish these so I can move on and read something different. So yeah, let's see. I'm on chapter 32, The Elder Wand. And it's in the heat of the meat now because the battle at Hogwarts has started. Okay, so we were just going to play um, a game of bags, you know, bean bag toss. Uh, we borrowed this set and there's no bean bags in the box so we can't actually play uh, but we're just we were gonna be in the backyard for a little while I guess not you know enjoying the nice weather um, this is our well this is our crummy yard don't ask and our little patio that needs some work but we just got this patio furniture we actually got a table and chairs for out here now Two more chairs are in the works. Of course, the pieces they sent us for the two chairs were sort of broken, so we have to reorder those, and that'll be a couple more days. And then this, I don't know what you call it, like a, a canopy or a pergola. We got this also, and it does have a cloth that goes over the whole top, but we took it down for rain the other day, so I just haven't put it back up. But I will. And then we can actually start using our backyard and sitting in our backyard and eating dinner out here and enjoying it. Yeah, it's okay. So that's our, this is our dinner, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that we're doing fondue. So we have the cheese fondue here, and then pizza fondue, which is just marinara sauce with <laughs> bread. So we use white bread for the pizza fondue. And then for the cheese fondue, we have brown bread and apples and vegetables. So that's gonna be our dinner. And I've got a whole thing hooked up here and the table pushed over so that the pots can be plugged in to the island and we can have like still usable room on the table, whatever. So yeah, come on cheese, melt, 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 melt. So we use this cheese for the fondue and it's um, Emmentaler and Gruyere. It, first of all, <laughs> I just found it at my grocery store but it's very expensive for this bag of cheese. That's number one. And number two, while it tastes good, I have had no luck following these directions on the back and getting it to be nice and smooth and um, thin. It's like very thick and clumpy. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And also, yeah, it tastes good, but it smells horrible when it's melted. So even when you open the bag, like, it just smells so bad. So keep that in mind. Apparently something about this mix of cheeses, ugh, tastes good, doesn't smell good. I've cut a little piece of the banana bread and I think it looks pretty much perfect inside, but I think I would have liked it to be cooked slightly less, which was tricky because how can you tell, you know, with a big loaf like this, um, I put the toothpick in first time I checked it and it definitely wasn't ready. It was still raw inside. So then I added a little time and it went from that to this. And I did take it out to keep cooling on this rack rather than totally in the pan. But so it's still just a hair drier than I would like, at least on the end. Maybe on the inside, it'll be a little bit moister. But it tastes good. So that's the important part. And what are you doing? He's playing with one of his favorite toys, which isn't actually a toy. It's a empty paper towel roll. Hundreds of dollars on cat toys and doodads and whatever's over the years. And he likes the empty paper towel roll. What are you chewing? <laughs> That's a little weird. You can't eat your daddy's fingers. You just can't do it. You can't do it. You go eat all our real food. Yeah. She had some dinner. What a nice baby. Yeah. <laughs> but she's not ripping your shirt. Hey you. She's, she's being a little bit weird. Okay, well, um, I think I'll end the vlog here.
okay. Anyway, this was, I know this is not, thank you, lovey. I know this is not a terribly exciting day, but this is honestly like an average day for me. It's not super exciting. So I'm probably gonna watch this footage back and be like, this is the most boring thing ever. I can't imagine how I'm gonna turn this into a remotely interesting vlog, but this is really um, a typical day. We don't always have a lot going on and I don't always have a lot of errands to run. So um, yeah, that was it. It's just how it is sometimes. So uh, I ate a lot of fondue at dinner and all this stuff. And I think I have to get ready for bed soon because it's after 10 o'clock and I'd like to just get in bed and read so I can keep powering through Deathly Hollows and hopefully finish early soon. So um, anyway, if you made it this far, thanks very much for watching this vlog and I will talk to you later. Bye.